Good morning. This is the weekend sports breakfast here on Talk Sport. Pleasure to have you alongside me, Natalie Sawyer, and the former Chelsea Aston Villa and Republic of Ireland striker, Tony Cascarino. Good morning. Now, it was the Cole Palmer show in a thrilling encounter at Stamford Bridge after a flurry of first half goals saw Chelsea beat Brighton 4 2. Palmer, left-footed, slides it into the bottom left-hand corner. Clinical penalty. Palmer goes for goal and scores! What a hat-trick! What an afternoon for Cole Palmer! What a player this young boy is! Extraordinary stuff! Palmer! Oh, he's got a four! What a finish, low down at the Bruggen's near post. This boy just cannot stop scoring. What a performance Cole Palmer has put in today for his club, scoring all four goals in the first half. Yeah, quite an incredible first half, in particular then at Stamford Bridge with Cole Palmer scoring all four of his side's first half goals to become the first player in Premier League history, Cass, to achieve that feat. He also became the first Chelsea player since Diego Costa in 2016 to net 20 Premier League goals in a calendar year. Before we get your thoughts on it all after the game, his manager, Enzo Maresca, spoke about Chelsea's main man, but (laughs) said he actually should have scored more. I think it was a very good performance for all the team. For sure, Cole, because he scored four goals, it has been, has been unbelievable. Uh, as I said to him, he scored four, but he could score some more because we had so many chances today. But yeah, overall, we are happy with the performance and with the result. OK, yeah. so that's what Enzo Maresca had yeah. to say on that result. Um, just in terms of Cole Palmer, right now, is he the best player in the Premier League? Um... Well, he had a. I felt quite a slow start to the season. That. Well, you know, he did, and actually, uh, he's spoken about that. Yeah. By he, saying that he didn't have a pre-season, for example, no. obviously the long it. summer. Yeah. And now well, he, he feels it's clicking. Think, think since he's left City, mm. last season he scored twenty-nine goals for club and country. So he's got obviously scored for England as well, and his performance was extraordinary last year for someone coming in from Man City. A young lad with huge expectation into a newly rebuilt club or team, and he was exceptional. He was outstanding for Chelsea. He was clearly the main man. This season, he started a little bit indifferently. Mm. Um, once he get, gets going, he's got so much talent. Just in, and you said one of the best. Look, he's, he. I don't know where the limit is for Cole Palmer because he had a goal disallowed. I think he hit the post as well and. It's also all... his variation of goals. Yeah, that are really impressive. Yeah. I mean, I, I will give some credit as well. Which is, you know, I, I, I watched quite a bit of the game last night when I got in, and um, Sancho was good as well. His relationship with Sancho they're, was they're, good. Yeah, you know, I mean, Chelsea. A, you, a lot of players. If you did the ratings, a lot of Chelsea players wouldn't get very good ratings because they there were some real mistakes in there from defensively, and, and Jason Cundy touched on that. Uh, you know, it was a one man show really. Uh, which it, he's capable of. It was, but we also spoke about the sort of four with Madueke and Jackson, Jackson involved yeah. as well. It's, there's excitement within this Chelsea team right now. Let's get more on it because joining us uh, to, to talk more on that game at the bridge and what was a frantic first half in particular, it's Chelsea Echoes, Louis Beneventi. Good morning, Louis. How are you? Louis. Morning, guys. How are you? What's occurring? All good? Uh, we're, <laughs> yes. we're good. You must be absolutely delighted, really, with how things are going so far. Yeah, yeah, I got woken up. I dreamed about that free kick still, just going in <laughs> over and over and over and over. And over. It's fantastic. I had the best view of it yesterday. Yeah, and t- tell us about um, Cole Palmer because obviously we've seen his, his talent and display. You know, Chelsea regularly, you go and watch every game. I can't think of a player that's made as big an impact as him in, what, just over a season. So he's into a season, what, mm-hmm. six, seven games. No, we. I was actually having this discussion yesterday, ironically, with somebody um about how important he's been and also I, I don't I don't think in my lifetime anyway there's not been a Chelsea player who has hit the ground running like he has. I was I was just listening to what you guys were saying. I, I think you'd be quite harsh in him saying he was um maybe hasn't started as quickly this season. You know, I mean oh, no, but he a said it himself. Assist in the second game. Louis he said it himself. Yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, he's, I think we, we, he seems to always downplay everything. Much like that free <laughs> kick when he was saying, yeah, I just don't really practice, to be honest. I just put it, put it in the top corner. I'm like, 
Nobody just does that. That's not normal. <laughs> uh, I think what, what he, he brings to the table is fantastic. And, you know, long may it continue. Yeah, yeah. I've got a bit of an issue with the connection. We'll, we'll try and persevere with a bit more with you, with with you, Louis. Um, but yeah, he did say that having not had a pre-season, having had a long summer with England at the Euros, that it's only up to now he feels that he's up to speed with this Chelsea team, which let's not forget is a new Chelsea team under Enzo Maresca. Yeah. Um, what about Enzo Maresca then, uh, and what you're seeing of Chelsea? I mean, there's, there's so much to like, I imagine. Yeah, I think I look. I, I can be very. I'll be very honest. When he came through the door, front door, I wasn't overjoyed. Mm. I wasn't really sure about what we were getting. Um, I thought Pochettino had had a fantastic end of the season. Had definitely earned an opportunity to continue. Um, but to be honest, Enzo Morris has come in. He said all the right things. He's been very clear in how he wants to do things. He has, you know, when when people have sort of talked about his methodology and and how things will be done. Um, and how he deals with the press, I, I, I think he's, he's, you know, really starting to to show his colours and show what he's capable of. Mm. Um, look, I think uh, a lot of people are going to talk about the two guys we conceded. Um, I think what you guys said and what Jason was saying last night was was absolutely true. You know, Chelsea are not going to be challenging for anything purely because defensively we're not quite there. But also that's because it's a new style of football which he's trying to impart onto these players and those sort of mistakes are going to happen. Um, but, you know, overall, I've I've been very, very happy with what I've seen. Um, he, he's definitely somebody who has it's been very clear. He's been very honest. People have called it brutal in some cases. Um, I, mm. I don't think it has been. I think he's, he's been very on the ball in terms of what he wants and um, I'm a massive fan of him so far. Mm. It's, a, it's a tough one because... We will make this accusation. If one player's injured, it used to be with, say, Harry Kane at Spurs. If they lost him, what would happen? With Spurs? I can't think of a player that's so important more than Cole Palmer for any club in the country where an individual means so much. Because I don't think Chelsea are particularly good defensively. I still think the midfield can be... There's errors in there. The goalkeeper, well, you know, you've seen enough of Sanchez in goal and you're quite... You know, there's quite a lot of errors in there, isn't there? So... um He's so vital to Chelsea to to even be competitive because he's delivering in every metric that you can think of. No, absolutely. I, I think yeah. There's 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 there's. If you took Cole Palmer out of that team, you, you're not going to see uh, the Chelsea that we've been seeing over the past you know few weeks, especially. Um, I think it's going to be interesting to see. Obviously, I know. Look, People don't expect Chelsea to perform very well in the Conference League, but obviously Cole Palmer is not in that squad for for the mm. group stages or the or the league phase. It is now, um, so to see how Chelsea will perform without him, I guess that would be a good metric to to see how they play. I, I think it's important to you know not have an over reliance on one player, um, but you know as you're saying, Cole Palmer is is without doubt I think the most influential player for a club. In the Premier League, I'd argue probably one of the most influential in world football in terms of what he brings to a single team at any point in time. Um, it's it'll be interesting to see how Chelsea can rely without him. I'm hoping we're not going to see what happened last year in, in one of the few games we had without him, uh, where we were told we're not Carl Palmer FC. And then got stuffed 5 0 by Arsenal. Uh, so we're hoping that's not going to happen in the Conference League. But uh, you know, it's it's he is so influential and he's he's such an amazing player to watch and you know for me in, in terms of you know getting the chairs flicking and getting bums off of seats I don't think I've seen anyone excite Stanford Bridge l- like he does since Eden Hazard he, it's mm-hmm. it's fantastic and it's a privilege to watch him every week yeah cool uh, and we were oh, cool look at, cool no 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 I mean as in Eden <laughs> Hazard what a player no, he was by the way absolutely what I was going to ask you as well Louis though I mean Cass you touched on it with Jaden Sancho coming mm, into pretty, Chelsea yeah. this summer as well uh, and, and that front four shall we say with Madueke and, and um, Nicholas Jackson as well it looks really exciting but in terms of Jaden Sancho what have you made of his start to his life at Chelsea um, numbers wise, he's, he's he's been pretty good. I, I think you can tell he seems like the sort of player who he needs to feel the love to get the best out of him. I think we you see that at Dortmund, you know how he performed so well when when he was given the love by by the fans and and by the the coaching staff and the club. Um, 
I think there's there's a good player in there. I think in terms of what Chelsea are going to end up paying for him because of of where they're likely to finish and all, all the clauses within that that contract with Manchester United, I I think it's very low risk. Um, and I think he he does offer something. I think it's too early to say. Look, I'm I'm naturally pessimistic and quite cynical. Uh, so I think with with what we've seen of him so far, I think it's been fantastic. It's very early doors. Um, you know, I thought I didn't think yesterday was one of his stronger performances personally. Um, I think we've we've seen him change the game more uh in, in the other fixtures he's played for Chelsea. But Jaden Sancho is definitely I think someone who on that left hand side we were struggling to find someone who was gonna be a, a key man, I think. Um I'd I'd never thought Raheem Sterling really delivered like he should have. I think Mikhailo Mudrik I, I think there's still a player in there, but I I just don't know if we're going to see it at Chelsea. Um, I think his confidence is completely shot to bits. Mm. Um, so for Jaden Sancho to come and step in, you know, with the the pedigree he has so far in his career, uh, and with the points to prove as well in the Premier League after a pretty dismal stint at Manchester United, you know, it'll be it'll be it's good to see him doing as well as he is, and I, I hope he can continue that form. I think he's he's been great so far, and long may it continue. Brilliant. Thank you, Louis, for being with us today. Great to hear from you. And it's now four games unbeaten in the Premier League then for uh, Chelsea. Um, In fact, it goes a bit further than that, I think. One, two, three, four, five. Five intact. There you go. So things turning around after that opening loss, of course, at home to Manchester City. Um, On the way next, we're going to delve into the papers for you. There's an exclusive with the former Spurs and Manchester United striker Dimitar Berbatov. We'll hear what he has to say. On AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.